I try to convey a sense of movement and engage myself and whoever else cares to look at it in the kind of energy of that movement. Rather than looking at things in a static way, I think I try to engage in the fluid quality of everything. I'm fascinated by the figure, and not just the human figure, but my paintings have animal imagery in them. They have mythical gods, half-gods, such as minotaurs. Uh, it's a whole population of different organic but living, moving forms. And rather than literally depict these forms, I tend to, as I say, draw upon all the material that I've done, just in studying people on the streets and the subways or drawing dogs at a dog park or looking around me and just drawing where I am. And this seems to come into play in the paintings themselves. I think I move from landscape to what might be called portraiture to group figurative compositions pretty, pretty fluidly pretty regularly, so I personally don't think of myself as a landscape painter or a portrait painter. I suppose the closest I'd come to giving myself an identity as a painter is saying I'm a figurative painter. But figures really can mean anything from people to minotaurs to, you know, cows, fish, or even I found like in painting cityscapes in New York that there's a fluid quality to buildings, and I try to get a sense of movement into something like that. So I think I kind of swim across all those uh, genres.